呃，雷徐老师有，徐总。各位投资者、分析师，大家好，感谢参加京东集团二零二二年一季度业绩嘉宾会议。Hello everyone, this is Julie. Thank you for joining City.com's 2022 first quarter earnings call. 二零二二年以来，我们处在疫情反复、供应链受阻、呃、消费信心不足等多重挑战叠加的外部环境中。作为以供应链为基础的技术与服务企业，京东正积极承担起企业公民的社会责任，充分发挥长期打造的供应链优势，以切实行动为最大程度的保障用户生活物资供给，最大限度减少疫情对经济社会发展的影响做出贡献。Since the start of 2022, we have seen many challenges arise in our external environment, including the COVID resurgence, supply chain disruptions, and soft consumer sentiment, among others. As a supply chain-based technology and service provider, JD is strongly committed to social responsibility, corporate citizenship, and thanks to the supply chain that we built over the years, we are able to take concrete actions to help ensure supply of daily necessities and to mitigate the impact of the pandemic on society and economy. 当前外部环境中有诸多挑战和不确定性，我们坚信这些挑战是短期的，京东也有能力应对，因为我们有更扎实的业务基础，凭借供应链能力和更具韧性的商业模式，京东在第一季度里再次交付了高质量的业绩，净收入取得了百分之十八的稳健增长，这不仅体现了我们在不断获得消费者和合作伙伴更多的信任，也再次展现了京东对于自身业务和供应链环节更强的把控力。当外部环境发生变化时，京东的业务表现相对于行业大盘。确定性更强，同时，京东也通过经营效率的持续提升和对业务的优化聚焦，保持了利润的健康稳定。JD's solid business foundation positions us to navigate the current challenges, which we believe are short-term in nature. In the first quarter, we once again delivered high-quality results thanks to our supply chain capabilities and resilient business model. Our total revenue saw a solid year-on-year growth of 18%. This reflects the increasing trust we have gained from our consumers and business partners. It also demonstrates that we have better control across our entire business process and supply chain. Therefore, we possess a greater visibility than the overall sector during this time during um, times of change. Moreover, we also recorded steady profitability in this quarter, driven by better operating efficiency and more focused business strategies. 面对疫情的挑战，京东向来都是冲在前，不惜力不算账。二零二零年一月，新冠疫情爆发时。京东第一时间开展了驰援湖北的专线运力保障、重点地区的民生保障、防护和医疗紧缺物资捐赠以及对平台合作伙伴的扶持等工作。现在，迎战传播力更强的奥密克戎，京东再次依托自身的供应链能力，第一时间调动集团全部力量，全力投入到全国多地的战役保护中。以上海为例，近一段时间以来，京东零售、京东物流、京东健康、达达等业务板块，通过统筹推进货源组织调配、运力保障、物流配送等工作。将包括米面粮油、药品、母婴用品等数万吨物资从全国各地运抵上海，并在全国招募调集超过四千位快递小哥和分拣员，全力支援上海一线运营和物资派送。这里我也想代表京东，对我们的员工，特别是奋斗在战役保供一线的兄弟姐妹们的无私付出和牺牲，表达最诚挚的感谢和敬意。同时，作为坚持服务实体经济的新型实体企业。京东为受疫情冲击的商家和中小企业出台一揽子纾困帮扶举措，大幅降低他们的运营成本，助力复工复产加速有序推进。京东超市也联合京东到家，帮助上海等地的实体门店恢复线上经营，并提供达达优检、众包检货方案，及时补充人力。京东希望能够携手合作伙伴，同心合力应对挑战，共度难关，为稳住民生和经济做出贡献。When the coronavirus first broke out in January 2020, we mobilized quickly to establish a special line for Hubei to ensure transport capacity provided essential to affected regions, donated protection and medical materials that were in urgent need, and launched a set of supportive measures for our merchants and suppliers. This time, facing the more transmissible Omicron variant, JD once again fully leveraged our supply chain and mobilized all of the group's forces to fight the epidemic and ensure supply of daily necessities across China. Taking Shanghai as an example, JD Retail, Logistics, Health, Data, and other business segments have sourced goods, allocated transport and logistic resources, and delivered tens of thousands of tons of supplies to Shanghai, including staple foods, medicines, daily care products, and more. We have also recruited and deployed over 4,000 frontline employees to fully support operations and deliveries in Shanghai. On behalf of JD, I'd like to express our most sincere gratitude and respect to our employees, especially those working on frontline, for their selfless devotion and dedication. In addition, as a new type of real economy enterprise, 
Jenny has also introduced a series of relief and assistance initiatives for merchants and SMEs that have suffered from the epidemic in order to lower their operating costs and help them gradually resume consumption. JD Supermarket also works together with JD DJ to help radio stores in Shanghai to resume online operations and provide the delivery manpower in a timely manner by leveraging data for solving solutions. We hope to join hands with all of our partners to tackle these challenges and difficulties and together contribute to stabilizing people's livelihoods and the economy. 首先，我们围绕着用户策略做了主动调整。在用户规模稳步扩大的同时，我们更加关注用户质量的提升。二零二二年一季度，京东年度活跃用户规模达到了五点八亿，而我们认为更重要的是，用户对京东的认可和可信
复杂严峻的疫情和经济形势，让许多企业开始重新审视自身的销售和供应链履约体系。越来越多的企业意识到一体化供应链物流服务不可替代的重要价值，这也进一步促进了京东物流外部客户的收入在一季度继续保持快速增长，外部贡献接近总收入的六成，并达到历史新高，带动物流整体收入结构持续优化。而且，借助精细化运营能力的提升和客户结构的持续改善。京东物流盈利状况同比改善，同时我们也按计划稳健推进了物流基础设施能力的建设。截止一季度末，京东物流运营的仓库数量接近一千四百个，管理的物流基础设施总面积已超过两千五百万平方米，这些都为我们巩固长期行业领先地位和进一步扩大市场份额奠定了关键基础。Firstly, our efforts and commitment to social responsibility during COVID enabled us to fulfill social, social society's trust and resulted in stronger reputation and appreciation among our users and business partners. This is highly significant for our long-term development. Secondly, JD's supply chain, as well as our organizing and coordinating capabilities, have, with, have withstood the pressure of the epidemic and become stronger. Thirdly, despite increasing uncertainties, we have persistently executed on our long-term strategies and built up core competencies such as our supply chain middle platform, marketplace ecosystem, and omnichannel and infrastructure capabilities. In pursuit of more disciplined investment pays and higher efficiency, City also helps business partners to generate higher efficiency and more cost-effective without external disruption. As such, we have gained recognition from our business partners during the epidemic. We are encouraged to see that merchant participation and engagement has reached a higher level than previous years in the preparation for the upcoming 618 grant promotion. Fourth, the, complete, the complex epidemic situation and the macro economy have caused companies to re-examine their sales and supply chain and fulfillment systems. Many of them have realized the irreplaceable value of integrated supply chain logistic services. This helped to drive the growth of JD Logistics revenue from external customers, which accounted for a record high of near 10% of total revenue from Q1, further optimizing JDL's revenue structure. Moreover, in this quarter, JDL's profitability improved year on year thanks to its optimized operation and better customer structure. JDL also made steady progress in building up its logistic cap capacity. By the end of Q1, it operated approximately 1,400 warehouses with a total gross floor area of over 25 million square meters under management. All of these advantages constitute a solid foundation for JDL to further expand in its industry leading position and market share over the long term. 诚然，二零二二年的上半年对于很多行业、很多企业都充满了挑战和不不确定性。我相信这个时候，企业更应该有一个长期的思考框架。坚持长期的战略定力和短期的战术动态调整相结合。京东成立的十九年里，一直充满了挑战，但每一次挑战都给京东带来了新的成长和发展的机遇。今天，京东以供应链为核心的商业逻辑非常清晰，核心竞争力具有明显的差异化，商业模式韧性在不断的被证明和加强。作为始终坚持服务实体经济的新兴实体企业，今天的京东比过去任何时候都更稳健。我们在为未来的长期发展不断积累势能。放眼未来，我们充满信心和决心。我们相信京东在未来很长一段时间里将取得更健康、高质量的发展。感谢大家对京东的信任和支持。以上是我今天的分享。下面我把话筒交给京东集团 CEO s a n d y It is evident that the first half of 2022 has brought many challenges and uncertainties. At this time, I believe it is important for companies to have a long-term mindset, remain unwavering on strategic priorities, while maintaining flexibility to adapt to short-term dynamics. JD has experienced many challenges over the past 19 years, but has taken each one an opportunity for the company's further development. Today, our business logic has that puts the supply chain at the core is very clear. Our core competency is highly differentiated, and the resilience of our business model has been proven many times and continues to evolve. As a new type of enterprise that is based on and always serves the real economy, JD today is on ever more solid ground. Looking ahead, we will continue to build upon our strengths. We remain confident and determined to achieve healthy, high-quality, long-term development. Thank you all for your support and trust. This concludes my remarks. Now I'd like to give the floor to Sandy. Thank you, Lei. Hello, everyone. The latest Omicron outbreak across several regions in China in the past several months has been challenging for everyone. So I would like to echo what Lei said and add my thanks to our colleagues, especially the frontline workers. For their heroic efforts in serving our customers and providing.
markets with essential supplies during this critical time. In the first quarter, net revenues reached 240 billion RMB, re representing solid 18% year-on-year growth against the high base from last year. In face of various uncertainties, we have been increasingly focusing on serving our users well and thereby increasing user lifetime value. Our annual active user base reached a total of 580.5 million, while average GMV per user in the last 12 months continued to increase. We are also glad to see improvements in other user quality metrics. For example, average orders per user recorded a healthy increase for both new and repeat customers. Our quarterly average DAU has been trending up and growing over 20% year-on-year, reflecting deepening user engagement. Not only did we see a spike in DAU growth during the Spring Festival Gala, effectively promoting JD brands nationwide, we were also inspired to live up to our users' increased trust when we saw a notable increase in DAU during COVID resurgence in March and April. As our revenue base continued to diversify, we also saw the varying impact of COVID on different segments in Q1. Our net product revenues, which mainly consist of our 1P retail business, grew at a solid 17% year-on-year, demonstrating remarkable resilience, underpinned by our proprietary supply chain infrastructure. Net service revenues continue to grow faster at 26% year-on-year, further diversifying our revenue base. While well, marketplace and marketing revenues grew at 25% year-on-year, our advertising revenues still grew at nearly 30% year-on-year, in line with the improving ROI of our advertising services. Our marketplace ecosystem continued to optimize as GT Retail continued to grow third-party merchant base by over 20% year-on-year in Q1. This showed that the support and value creation offered by JD are resonating with more and more third-party merchants who are struggling in a time of uncertainties. Logistics and other services revenues grew by 28% year-on-year in Q1, as JDL continued to gain traction from external customers with its interrupted supply chain services during the Chinese New Year. I will discuss more about it later. Now let's turn to our segment performance. JD Retail continued to deliver a resilient top-line growth amid the latest COVID developments. JD Retail's revenue reached 218 billion RMB in Q1, growing at 17% year-on-year in the quarter. The COVID impact began to appear across the performance of our categories. General merchandise revenues grew 21% year-on-year in Q1, outperforming the electronics and home appliance category growth of 14% year-on-year. Since the latest outbreak, customers notably shifted their purchases from non-essential products to essential items. Our supermarket category saw stronger demand with its order volume outgrowing JD Retails in Q1 and in the first half of Q2, and attracted the most number of first-time buyers among all categories. Although our supply chain was heavily disrupted in certain regions, JD Retail and JD Logistics quickly worked together to source and dispatch essential products by utilizing our nationwide warehouse and, warehouse and delivery networks. Once again, this demonstrated our customer-first operating philosophy and our unique business model that enables us to quickly respond to unexpected changes and mobilize our proprietary supply chain capabilities in upholding customer service. We even went beyond our traditional B2C simple warehouse model to address pricing customer needs. Growth of our omnichannel supermarket, including Seven Fresh, accelerated in Q1 as they provided our customers with timely omnichannel fulfillment for grocery and household staples in this critical time window. Moving on to JD Retail's profitability, operating margin was 3.6% this quarter, compared with 4% a year ago primarily due to the marketing expenses in relation to the Spring Festival Gala sponsorship and, to a lesser extent, the softer fulfilled gross margin during the outbreak. That said, we expect to see additional COVID-related costs and expenses, particularly in fulfillment, as well as margin impact caused by product mix shift due to the uneven performance of our different product categories in the short term. JD Logistics, or JDL, maintained a healthy top-line growth with an improved revenue mix and continued year-on-year -year margin improvement. 
Its Q1 revenues grew 22% year-on-year to 27 billion RMB. Revenues from external customers maintained growth momentum, driven by both the number and output of external customers, and once again achieved a record high revenue contribution of 58%. DDL acted quickly and spared no effort to ensure continued fulfillment of essential products to customers and support our business partners in the COVID-affected areas. As a result, it incurred additional costs and expenses due to the operational difficulties and disruptions, particularly as it mobilized workforce and resources across different regions while some of our warehouses and the delivery stations were under lockdown restrictions in certain affected areas. However, we still found some silver linings. The customer awareness of the unique advantages of GDL's integrated supply chain logistics services has meaningfully increased, boding well for the future customer conversion and total addressable market expansion. And thanks to the growth of external business and continuous improvement in operating efficiency driven by technology, GDL was able to absorb the additional costs to a certain extent and continued to improve its margin in Q1. Its non-gap operating loss narrowed by more than 55% from a year ago. CDL has once again improved the design and efficiency of its nationwide supply chain network in this challenging market situation. Since we received all required regulatory approvals and completed the additional investment in Dada Group by the end of February, we consolidated the financial results of Dada in our segment reporting starting from March this year. During the consolidation period, Dada reported revenues of 688 million RMB and an operating loss of 191 million RMB. Dada is an indispensable part of our omnichannel strategy. Shop now, the on-demand retail brand that we launched together on JD's main app has been expanding at a triple-digit growth rate year-on-year in Q1 and now made its service available to users in over 400 cities. We are excited to further expand our supply chain service network in the fast-growing on-demand consumption with Dada. Finally, turning to our new business segment, where we took proactive optimization measures to improve operating efficiency, particularly in Tinsi business, we further focused our resources in a fewer number of selected markets to strengthen local supply chain capabilities and improve the UE model. These measures resulted in a moderation of revenue growth to 12% year-on-year, but a meaningful reduction in operating loss of nearly 1 billion RMB sequentially in Q1. Our JD property business remained a profitable business in a hyper-growth stage. It has successfully acquired a controlling stake in China Logistics Property Holdings, or CNLP, further enhancing its logistics infrastructure. JDP has also entered into definitive agreements with approximately 800 million US dollar non-redeemable Series B financing in the quarter. So far, you can tell that JD's unique supply chain-based business model not only ensured our capabilities in navigating different economic cycles, it also allowed us to proactively and quickly adjust our business strategies for better sustainability. Moving to the consolidated bottom line, Total expense ratios in Q1 declined by 53 bits year-on-year. As a result, Q1 non-gap net income attributable to ordinary shareholders was 4 billion RMB with non-gap net margin of 1.7%. Our free cash flow for the trading stock market this quarter was healthy at 27.2 billion RMB. By the end of Q1, cash, cash equivalent, restricted cash, and short-term investments grew to 186 billion RMB, thanks to the stable cash flow contributed by our core businesses in the past few years. Earlier this month, we also announced a special cash dividend of 63 cents US dollar per ordinary share, or 1.26 cents per ADX which reflects our confidence in JD's long-term growth trajectory and strong balance sheet. While we continue to explore the high and exciting investment opportunities, we constantly take a holistic view and consider different measures as appropriate to give back to our shareholders in the long term. Looking ahead, the Omicron situation remains very fluid and adds a lot of variables to our business. The magnitude and duration of the COVID impact will present many uncertainties to the overall consumer behavior supply chain, and our fulfillment infrastructure. 
but one thing for certain, after 19 years of efforts in building our core supply chain competencies and differentiated business model, we are uniquely positioned to swiftly adjust and respond to any dynamic situation and able to be among the first to help our customers, partners, and communities during this chill time. When the COVID disruption subsides, we are confident that JD will emerge stronger with expanded consumer man share, more trusted ownership, and deeper ties with our communities and users. All of this will reinforce our mid to long term growth prospects. This concludes my prepared remarks, and we can now move to the QA. Thank you. The question and answer session of this conference call will start in a moment. In order to be fair to all callers who wish to ask questions, we will take one question at a time from each caller. If you have more than one question, please request to join the queue again after your first question has been addressed. Our first question comes from Ronald Kuhn with Goldman Sachs. Your line is open. Thank you. Uh, thank you. 也恭喜非常稳健的一季度业绩今年二季度下半年的这个增长是如何判断那不如让我翻译一下 uh, thank you, management. Uh, my, my question would be on uh, when we compare with two years ago uh, that we've gained uh, a lot of share and grew much faster than industry uh, during the first quarter at, at, in the COVID outbreak. Uh, we've seen some of the industry numbers for April were relatively weak. So I uh, want to know how are we doing in um, for our retail business compared with the industry, uh, some of the differences that we see versus two years ago, and our targets and how we see the second quarter and uh, second half growth as a result. Thank you.这里我主要对今年的疫情跟二零二零年和二零二一年疫情情况下做一个对比。那么它的这个在地间隔时间也只有二点八三天，所以在整个传播的过程中的时候呢，而且还有一定比例的是这个感染者是没有症状的，因此它的传播不仅速度快，而且容易发掘。那么政府在整体的管控，呃，疫情防
呃，因为这个变长，我们发现了四月份订单的取消率呢有明显的上升。那五月份的情况呢有所好转，但还是要高于去年。And the lockdowns of our warehouses and delivery stations in certain key regions have led to fulfillment challenges, as both inbound and outbound shipping of merchandise from warehouses are affected. Fulfillment requires much longer time. There have been、uh, this has resulted some order cancellation rate increase in April. And the situation is getting better in May, but the cancellation rate remains a high level year on year. 嗯，第三个呢，就是北上广深这四个城市应该是中国的最大的四个一线城市。从三月份开始呢，应该都或都受到了不同的程度的影响。那广州跟深深圳的时间相对比较短，但是上海跟北京的时间持续比较长。而这四个城市的呃京东的销售占比呢，也是高于其他，就是也是高于全国的社零的这个结构占比的。So this year, for、um, the China's four big t-、uh, big cities, the first year cities ranging Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen, have all been affected. Well,、uh, Guangzhou and Shenzhen were only affected for a short period of time, and、uh, Beijing and Shanghai have been affected for a longer period of time. And the sales、uh, contribution of the four cities accounts for a higher proportion of JD than the city's contribution in total retail sale in China. 呃，还有就是在今年的年初，我们与很多的大品牌、大部分的品牌啊，去去沟通的时候呢，呃，发现他们对今年形经济形势的预判呢，纷纷调低了年度的预算。那么很多品牌是以保利润为今年的主要的经营的主题，所以说从商流的角度来说呢，也不太支持这种高速的增长。So a majority of brands and merchants lowered budgets at the beginning of the year, considering this year's economic situation. They focus more on profitability. Therefore, the business environment also does not support a high growth from the supply of perspective. 嗯，呃，具体到品类来说呢，我们看到除了大商超品类和健康品类保持了相对比较高的增速外，那么带电品类跟服装的品类，整个应该说这市场发生了非常大的变化。So in terms of the category, besides、uh, the supermarket and health-related categories, which continue to enjoy some high growth, for the market of electronics and home appliances and apparel categories,、uh, the market has been changing dramatically. 那么呃，介绍几个、呃、代表性的品类啊。第一个是这个 IT 的品类。呃，前两年应该全球的供应链比较紧张，呃，但是京东的供应链比较强，在市场缺货的情况下呢，我们有非常好的表现。但是今年呢，这个呃 IT 的品类的整体的货源是比较充足的，而且在价格上也是在走低。So、uh, take the IT and electronic categories for example. In the past two years, due to the global supply shortage and due to strong supply chain capabilities. We performed relatively well. And this year, this category is faced with the overall sufficient price, and the price level is going down. 呃，通讯品类呢，不至于这个平均市场平均价格的上升，还有芯片的问题，所以说导致了整个消费者的换机的周期呢是大幅度延长。And for the telecommunications or the mobile phone category, due to the price rise and the chip shortage, consumers are willing to replace their、uh, devices. The cycle has been extended. 那服装品类呢？因为疫情和消费的原因呢，呃，我们了解整个行业的春装的库存是积压的。呃，目前了解到呢，夏装很多的呃工厂直接就没有生产了。And for the apparel category, due to the epidemic and the sluggish consumption, there is high level of inventory backlog of spring collections. And as a result,、uh, many、uh, factories are considering skip the production plan for the summer collection. 呃，第六个是因为疫情所导致了这个消费者的收入和信心是不足的，整体的消费是低迷的。大家可以看到统计局四月份的数据，那么我们的观测到了就是高客单价的商品的消费力是不强的。完了以后，流量跟用户在正增长的情况下呢，四五两月份的客单价同比都是在下降。As the epidemic has affected consumers' income and confidence, the overall consumption is depressed, as you can see from the April statistics. And this especially affected the sales of some large ticket size items. And even user traffic has recorded April.、Um, we have seen、um, the、uh, ticket size is dropping year on year in April and May. 嗯，呃，前面介绍了整体的这个今年跟前两年的疫情情况。那下面我再介绍一下我们这个应对的。呃，目前的情况啊，除了之前呃，大家可以看到我们在降本增效上面我们做的一些工作以外呢，还有两点可以跟大家分享，就是第一点就是呃，我们跟各地政府在持续的不断的沟通，那么京东呢也成为各地政府的保供企业的名单，那么呢呃尽可能的保证了仓储和配送的正常运营和履约，那目前情况看应该得到大幅度的改善。
In response to the above mentioned uh, situations, here are two aspects we have been doing. Uh, first, um, we have been uh, conducting active communications with the local governments and getting on a wide list of enterprises for essential supplies of more regions and also to ensure the normal operations of our warehouses and the fulfillment facilities. And the situation is getting improved now. Uh,第二个就是关于呃六幺八的准备，我知道很多投资人也比较关心今年的六幺八。呃，确实因为这个疫情等等原因，呃，那么品牌商跟商家的销售压力是非常大的，所以呢，我们看到就是今年品牌商
uh, doing it differently compared to previous years and our KPI. And uh, my second question uh, is regarding to our spending, uh, in particular on user acquisitions as well as uh, the investments in the new business. Uh, will we adjust uh, our investment strategies uh, given the dynamic uh, situation right now? And uh, finally, uh, on omni-channel, uh, can management comment about uh, our long-term strategies as well as the revenue contribution that we should expect? Thank you. Uh, 截止到目前为止 and just a, a more few words from uh, Xulei on the 618. We have seen so far that except Shanghai and uh, overall in China, uh, the fulfillment is uh, coming back to a normal operation level. So every day there are some sporadic situations due to the COVID situations, but overall it's maintained a normal operation. And in Shanghai, uh, there are still a few um, orders continue to be fulfilled. And that uh, overall for the goods operations, it's on the right track. And for the um, participating and uh, engagement of uh, brands and merchants to this year's grant promotion, they're very active and uh, this is the ex outside our expectations and uh, everything is going on the right way. 对于你提到的KPI呢,我想呢,主要可能是还是关于销售的情况。那么在现在疫情不确定的情况下,以及消费不确定的情况下呢,其实我们对KPI呢,是没有特别明确的。但是对我们来说呢,保证用户的体验,
of our long-term strategies in this aspect, but we will make adjustments on the investment um, given the uh, macro-environment situation. And uh, uh, the omni-channel business is composed of two parts with both self-operated and our collaboration with external partners. For this uh, letter of uh, business format, we not only help those offline business and uh, uh, shops to solve the traffic, the users' traffic difficulties given the COVID situation. It also helps JD to enrich our supply chain and product variety to satisfy the needs of our customers. And given the impact of the COVID situation, some self-developed omni-channel were affected, but overall the volume is not big and it, um, it has limited impact so far. Uh,就同同业务呢,应该说我们,呃,一季度,呃,增长非常好,呃,应该是三位数的增长。那目前已经覆盖了全国一千多百,一千七百多的曲线。呃,品类也比较多,呃,小时候业务链接了超过十五万
profitability and cash flow dynamically based on the uh, overall macro um, environment. We are now approaching the end of the conference call. I will now turn the call over to JD.com, Sean Zhang, for closing remarks. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on a call.